guys, it's Bob, sorta, here uh, from Butter Popcorn Reviews, and today we're getting a little animated as we talk about the release of the animated film Ugly Dolls. Now, Ugly Dolls is uh, based on the, uh, the, the actual stuffed animals. Uh, the synopsis says that it's an animated adventure in which the free-spirited ugly dolls confront what it means to be different to struggle with a desire to be loved, and ultimately discover who you truly are, and that's what matters most. I agree. So since we're talking about an animated film, I thought we'd get a little animated today. Um, so basically, this movie um, is a, must have been a massive, uh, massive bomb. The film came out theatrically uh, in May of this year, and it officially came out on digital uh, yesterday, July 16th. So we're talking about uh, a two-month span between theatrical release and digital, and then it will hit Blu-ray and DVD July 30th, it looks like. So a uh, total of two months, a little slightly over two months uh, between the movie being in theaters and in uh and being released for home use so you know right there that it's probably didn't do well um and it is pretty critically panned the movie stars uh kelly clarkson and nick jonas so right there if you know nothing else about this movie you know that it's going to be a musical and of course it is it's an animated film uh very few animated films don't have a bunch of music in it the issue that I have uh, here is that none of the songs in this movie are even remotely memorable at all. Uh, in fact, it starts off really kind of odd a little bit. Um, it, it shows how the how the ugly dolls come to be. Uh, basically, we're we're showing a uh, a plant facility that's making different animal uh, stuffed animals, stuffed you know, and dolls. And only the perfect ones make it through. And if they're not perfect, they get shoved out of the way uh, into a different shoot, you know, a la Willy Wonka uh, and the Golden Eggs. So it goes right from that, and it shows that kind of during the opening credits. And then it immediately goes into the first Kelly Clarkson song. Kelly Clarkson uh, voices Moxie, who is the main character in the film. And it just jumps right in, and it has no lead-in. Um, and the songs don't really tie with the story uh, in every instance, so it it just doesn't work very well. Um, now, I watched this movie with my three-year-old son, um, and it kept his enjoyment um, throughout the whole film. The movie, um, I'm trying to check the runtime here. Uh, it wasn't very, it wasn't very long. Yeah, it's 87 minutes. Um, so, you know, it kept his attention. Um, it, it didn't fully keep my attention because, again, the songs weren't that great. Um, the animation is, is quite good. So the animation is done um, by STX Films. Um, I'm trying to see what else they have done. Okay, so STX Films, this looks like it's their first animated film. Um, they're also the studio uh, responsible for movies like I Feel Pretty, The Foreigner with Jackie Chan. They did uh, The Happy Time Murders last year. So this uh, looks like their only animated film. It's also their lowest grossing film, and it looks like their lowest rated film on IMDb. Um, yeah, a budget of $45 million with a total gross in the U.S. of only 20 and... Ooh, t only 26 million worldwide. It only made five, a little over five million dollars outside of the U.S. Now that's that's pretty bad. Um, I, I don't know what the, what that would mean for an animated film, um, but when you look at worldwide grosses and the top grossing films of all time, um, you you realize that most of the money that movies make comes from overseas. It comes from China. Uh, so it being, um, it making almost no money, not, not, didn't even make back, uh, barely made back half of its budget. Uh, you know that that's not, that's not looking good. And that's probably the reason, in fact, that's almost definitely the reason why 
they are shoving this movie straight to a home release. So again, the movie um, is is okay. It's definitely not aimed at an, at adults, but you know it's not going to be uh, the next Toy Story, obviously. Um, but aside from that, it really doesn't have a whole lot going for it. It has it is good animation, and it has a cast that is just just top notch at i mean it's not that i want to say it's not all a listers but i mean the cast includes a ton of people um and plenty of people that you know it's got pitbull in it it's got ice t kelly clarkson blake shelton wanda sykes gabriel iglesias emma roberts jane lynch i mean and whoever the hell charlie xcx is i see that name all the time i guess she's a musician it, this movie is just packed filled with with musicians um so again tons of music none of them really <laughs> none of the songs stick out so i guess what was the point of getting 15 popular musicians uh except that they're a good name for the the you know the movie itself it's good promotion um Overall, movie was was probably uh, great for a three year old. My son's three. He enjoyed it. He said he liked it when it was over. But to be honest, even towards the end, a little bit, he was like, "Ah, I want to watch something else. I want to watch something else." And we finished it because I knew I was doing this review. So I'm like, you know what? It's got ten minutes left. Let's let's see where it goes, please. Okay. So we uh, we we finished it. Um, and in the end, he did say he liked it. It's pretty cliche plot. Um, uh, Kelly Clarkson as Moxie just really wants to be a uh, part of a child's life, you know, really wants to, uh, doesn't care, but, you know, they all live in the ugly, the Uglyville, and, you know, she believes that there is is a kid out there who's going to love her even though she's ugly, um, and that's the whole point of the story. They go uh, into the perfect world where every doll is a model, and they have jobs like lawyer, and you know businessman and stuff and they meet um they meet the bad guy uh you know who is voiced um in this in this movie it's uh it's Lou and it's voiced by Nick Jonas and he's super popular and he's everybody's uh you know all the popular dolls all the pretty dolls love him and he's the most popular and the most pretty and you know how you know how it goes it doesn't really um again it, it's such a it's such a bland cartoon um that the i mean it's it's very formulaic even for an animated film so you know it, it again if you've got young kids i would say give it a watch um you know this is like a this would probably be a great uh catch it on netflix if it come you know when it comes to netflix or like I said, it will be out on July 30th, so I'm sure it will be hitting Redbox. Uh, that would be a perfect, uh, you know, grab for a, cup, a buck or two out of a Redbox if you have young kids. Um, all of the performances are great as far as the, the voice acting. I think everything uh, is really good. The only one I can't really get over personally um, is Wanda Sykes. I, it, her her voice doesn't match with what the character looked like it, to me. Um, the character she played is Wade, Wage, and like it doesn't even look like a girl. I mean, I'm not saying that any of these monsters really look um, like a, you know a boy or a girl necessarily, but um, you know you can definitely tell that Moxie is a girl, um, and that ugly dog who is voiced by Pitbull, haha. Uh, is a boy dog you know it's it just the way that they're drawn and then for some reason Wanda Sykes her voice um, just doesn't feel right to me with the character but anyway that's just nitpicking probably the movie is oak is okay uh, you're probably not gonna well you're probably not gonna like it um, and if you're over the age of say eight uh, but if you're under the age of eight or in that perfect you know niche three to five market I think that uh, you'll definitely get something out of it. But if you're in that three to five market, I'm not sure why you're watching my review video right now. So anyway, uh, thanks for joining Animated Bob here for Buttered Popcorn Reviews. I will be back into my normal self for my next review. 
please don't forget to check us out uh, at www.buttered-popcorn.com for movie reviews, news, updates, Blu-ray and 4K uh, release news and reviews and all sorts of great stuff. Plus, you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash official buttered popcorn. Thanks very much, and we will see you next time.